Okay, so I, uh, I'm doing some more testing on my uh, 15 kilowatt office UPS project. Um, if you remember in my previous video, um, this AP, you know this 24 volt uh, APC UPC uh, it worked great um, and it worked fine off my LiPo for Powerwall. Um, the only issue was. I'm not sure I wanted to recharge the LiPo for Powerwall um, just because it's really set up for lead acid and it just may not charge um, quite right. It, it, you know, it's not going to overcharge because we already tested this that it kind of cuts out at about 27 volts and the LiPo for Powerwall can go up to 29 volts. So I'm, yeah, I'm not too worried about that. But if I could make it so that it doesn't recharge the power ball, that would be great. And then I'll have a dedicated LiPo for, you know, charging circuit. Um, and somebody suggested I put a, um, a, a blocking diode in, in, the, in the charging circuit. And that is an interesting idea. So here is the blocking diode. I haven't opened it yet. Let's open it up. And here it is, I think it's rated up to 40 amps, which is plenty for what I'm going to be doing. Um, you can see it's got uh, V in, V out. Um, appears the voltage is going to head this way, which makes sense, V in, V out. So technically if my battery is over here and my UPC is over here, um, we want the battery to come in and come out here. Now this, according to the instructions, this on, you only have to connect the positive legs to this. The negative leg you just um, join without running it through the blocking diode. Um, so I think I'm going to take this, put a couple t XT60 test leads on here. Um, I'll, and then we will connect the battery and we will see if it does any, you know, A, does the battery work? through the diode and then is there any um, charging going backwards through this diode so uh, that's the plan and let's uh, begin so first thing I'm going to do is quickly solder on a couple legs and then we'll go from there Okay, so our diode is ready. Um, I have this, um, and we need to make sure we connect this the right way. Uh, v in, so this side goes to the battery. Um, and let me just check that I have that the battery is on and I have voltage. Yeah, 26 volts coming from the battery. Okay, perfect. And now let's plug this into the into the APC over here. Let me make this so that you can see the screen. And in theory, we should be able to turn this on. And it did turn on, so that's great. And and the APC is not actually currently plugged into the wall, so that is running on battery only right now. Um, so that's great. Um, so the voltage is traveling through. I'm going to put a small load. I'm going to plug. Um, I'm going to plug my glue gun. It's just a small load, but I'm going to plug it into the battery plugs. And the APC here. Uh, we're putting out 25 watts. Okay, so the APC is running. I don't want to run a lot of wattage since this is very thin wire. This is all just a test rig, um, but that's fine. We're heating the, we are heating the the the, the glue gun, and um, this diode is sending voltage this way into the battery. Now, the question is, is it going to block the voltage backwards? 
Um, so, uh, okay, so now what I am going to do is I am going to plug in the APC into the wall. Okay, you just heard the you just heard the relay kick. We are now in charging mode. Um, and weirdly in charging mode, I don't know if you can see this, it's acting like there isn't a battery. Um, it's saying there's, it's acting like it can't see a battery, which is interesting, which is, I mean, kind of what the, we want the reverse diode to do. We, we don't want it to be able to see the battery so that it doesn't charge the battery. The problem is, if I unplug it out of the wall, if it doesn't think there's a battery, will it click back to battery? I don't know. Because um, right now, yeah, it's pretending like it can't see a battery. Normally there's a battery sign there. Um, so in reverse diode mode, you know, the, the diode is blocking the charging of, of the battery, but it's also making the APC not necessarily think that it can see the battery. So I am going to unplug this back out of the wall now. And let's see if it let's see if it does click back to battery. Okay, it did click back to battery. It did click back to battery. Um which is great. I wonder if there was any I wonder if there was any point where the the one tens went out you know you know with with it not seeing the battery and then it clicking back to the battery and then the diode blocking i wonder if there was any point where the 110 volt circuit clicked off temporarily or if it was a continuous um 110 volts i need to think what i can plug in to see if it does um, trip Okay, what I have here is a spotlight. That for some reason doesn't want to work. Does it work off the wall? It does work off the wall. For some reason, the 110. Oh, now, okay. Okay. Okay, you can't. Okay, so it is working now off the, the wall. And I'm sorry, this is going to flash out the lights, but I want to see. It's gonna it's gonna blind the camera a little bit but I want to test okay we are plugged okay we are plugged back into the wall and there was no noticeable um, cut off on the on the on the um, on the light bulb uh, and again now the APC says there's no battery and it's flashing the, the battery empty sign um, so we are going to unplug this now and see if see it go back to battery and see if the light goes out at all. Okay. There was the ever sl most slightest sort of dimming of the light as the relay kicked over. Now that might be completely normal. That might be how any, any uh, UPC, when it does the changeover, there might be a, a momentary um, flicker, um, which is fine. Um, so, I have to say, looks like this diode does work. And even though the APC, when it's in, you know, when it's plugged back into the wall, it suddenly thinks that there's no battery. Um, even though that's happening, um, uh, even you know, it still seems to click back to the battery when you pull the power and the battery does kick in through the diode. 
And I can tell you right now the meter on my, um, let me see here. Oh, let me take your mobile for a second. The meter over here says that there is zero watts coming in. So even though this thing is in battery, even though this thing is plugged into the wall right now, you can see this APC is plugged into the wall right now, um, and it should be trying to charge the battery because it can't see the battery through the blocking diode, there is zero watts coming into the battery. So that's kind of cool. I mean, this, this blocking diode is doing pretty much exactly what we want it to do. Um, so yeah, I think, I think we will proceed with putting this blocking diode in the circuit and then I'll just have a dedicated, um, you know, wall wart that's an 8S LiPo4 rated, you know, uh, uh, wall wart and we'll use that for charging. So I think that's a success. So thank you to whichever viewer suggested the blocking diode.